Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Condition Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about a hit and run in Naples. Marco Rubio is expected to announce he will be running for re-election in the Senate and more. Today is Thursday, June 23rd, and this is the Morning Report. The U.S. Coast Guard says searchers have spotted a debris field of items belonging to a family last seen in a 29-foot sailboat off Florida's southwest coast. Captain Gregory Kay said Wednesday that items floating in the Gulf of Mexico include a tarp, water jugs, six life jackets, and a propane tank. He says 45-year-old Ace Kimberly and his children, 13-year-old Roger, 15-year-old Donnie, and 17-year-old Rebecca live on the sailboat. They left Sarasota Sunday for Fort Myers to have the boat repaired. You can read more at NaplesHerald.com. Florida Highway Patrol troopers are looking for the driver of a white Lexus sedan after reports say they fled the scene of a hit-and-run car accident along Interstate 75 early Tuesday morning. According to troopers, a driver of the white Lexus crossed over into the left lane near Vanderbilt Beach Road and struck the right side of 22-year-old Brandon Castillo Ponce's 2003 GMC Savannah. Anyone who may have witnessed this crash or has any knowledge as to the identity and location of the hit-and-run driver and or the white Lexus is asked to contact Florida Highway Patrol. Former Republican presidential candidate Marco Rubio is expected to announce he is running for re-election to the Senate, yielding to intense pressure from party leaders determined to keep his Florida seat in GOP hands. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell told reporters Wednesday that a Rubio re-election bid would be a great outcome that would likely mean Republicans would hang on to the seat. You can read more at NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.